Hello everybody, welcome to another awesome After Effects CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and I want to show you how to create some really cool looking motion graphics typography looking stuff. So, what I mean is, I'm going to use the text animator that's within our text layer that you may not have seen to figure out how to make this stuff look cool. So, let's get started and I'll show you really what I mean. So if we come down into our uh, layer panel here and scroll down in our text, and all I have is just one line or one uh, set of text here that I um, centered and put in different colors to make it kind of look cool, and I just increased the size of the middle word here that I'm not allowed to say or else my mom will ground me. Just kidding. So we twirl down here and we've got our text path options, more options, and that's not what we want to use right now. We want to come over here to this animate button. Click on it, and we've got a whole bunch of things that we can now animate individually, and we can always add these to each other. So what I want to show you is we've got the transform properties here, we've got our character properties here, and then we've got some other properties here that we can also animate, and, and I'll go over those ones uh, later. So the coolest one I think to, to show you guys at first will be the scale. A lot of people use this scale in the um, motion graphics on TV and in commercials and everything. So it's really pretty cool looking. So we've got our animator that just popped up called Animator 1. We've got our range selector and our scale. Now if we come and uh, scroll down the range selector here, We've got start, end, and offset. Well, the start here, if I, if you look up here on my text, uh, in my comp panel, you see this little line right here with a little uh, green arrow there. Or not green, red arrow. I'm just thinking about comic books too much, apparently. So if we scroll our start here, it's going to move that little uh, cursor there, and that is how we're going to use. Uh, that's what we're going to use to animate across the screen and across the text. So this is the starting point and then the end point is also the same thing in case you wanted it to go backwards for some reason. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our scale zero. Just type that in because you can go negative on your scale too and make it be upside down but I don't see why you want to do that right now. Not for this project. So we're going to put that at zero and then we're going to keyframe our range selector from 0 to 100 and here we go and I'll show you what that looks like so if I render this we've got our characters animating on word or letter by letter so I mean you've probably seen this a few times this is uh, kinda cool looking so I mean if this is what you figured out, you can stop, or this is what you wanted to see how to do, you can stop now and just leave. But we're going to go over some more advanced stuff, and you now you're into the uh, advanced section here, because you can really control what's going on with your animation. <clears throat> so I'm going to stop this, I'm going to move in here to where we have some all of our words up, and we're going to come down here into the advanced tab. Now we've got a whole bunch of different things going on here and I'm going to show you how to use these pretty thoroughly I think, <laughs> hopefully. So we've got our units here. Right now it's on percentage and this means the units we're using for our range selector. Right now you can see it's on percentage and that means the percentage of our text here that will be fully animated. So if we start here at zero, that means none of our text is animated right now. If we come into the middle here, this is 50% of our text has been animated, and then of course at the end, 100%. We can change this here to, from units, we can change it to index. And I'll do that real quick. And you can see the range selector has changed to 33. Now there's 33 characters in here, so there's probably a few, a few less uh, actual letters and then there's actual uh, spaces that they're uh, counting also. Now since uh, 
each letter counts as an index, you can easily tell which letter is going to animate rather than when you're using percentage. So if I come up a couple frames, I'm going to press page down to move frame by frame. Now our index is at 1. That means the A is totally animated right now. If I move in to two point, uh, a couple frames in, we're at 2.1, which means the N is totally animated, and then the I is going to start coming in. So you can you get the idea here. Now our it counts the spaces here. As you can see, there's a space in between animate and whatever the next letter is, and it's pretending to animate that space up the same way it would animate the text. So we got that going on, and you should understand that now. That's a, a, a way that you might be able to uh, change and finer, or be able to uh, finally pick out what letters you want to animate on and everything like that. Now we've got this based on right here, and we've got characters, characters excluding spaces. So if I change it to that, it's going to animate without animating or animate the characters on without having to animate the space in between now when that happens the range selector gets a little munged up sometimes and it still thinks we have 33 characters in there but we don't since the the uh, spaces aren't animated and I'll show you this but I'll come over here to where we're close there and I'm going to go pre by pressing page up and after the E, normally the space would try to animate on, but it's not going to. It's just going to skip right to the T. So the uh, range selector, once we get to the end, is going to have to be adjusted. So once we get to the end here with the exclamation point right here is when everything should be done. So probably about 28, and the end here should be 28. So if we come over to 4 seconds, we'll change that to 28. And then our keyframes will line up correctly and everything will animate within the selected keyframe amount, as we can see there.